Hi guys, my name is Mehmet Karakush. I'm from Nazarbayev University, Graduate School of Education. Today I want to introduce to you an innovative teaching tool. Its name is Kahoot. Uh, uh, firstly, I want to show you two uh, different versions of this web page. One is Kahoot.com. You should type Kahoot.com and then you can sign up. And the other one is kahoot.eat. You will generate when you want to create a kahoot. You will generate a code and then you will share this code to your students. And your students will type this game pin on this page, kahoot.eat. Your students need to enter this web page. Uh, firstly, I want to show you how to sign up. First, you, you should click on sign up. The easiest way is signing up using your Google account. You can select teacher. And then uh, our sector is higher education. And then the easiest way is this, the quickest way, sign up with Google. You can click and then you can sign up, but I will go back and I will log in my own account to show you how does it work. Login with Google. I signed up before using my Google account. Now I will show you how to use Kahoot. I signed up before using this account i clicked on it and we reached the home page of kahoot there are several options uh, firstly uh, i want to show you uh, the easiest way you can discover the other kahoots created by the other uh, people uh, you can type the name of your uh, Kahoot, the, the topic name, and then uh, you can find a suitable Kahoot for you. I can write maybe research methodology or any kind of version suits you. In this page, you can see the Kahoots, you can see the list of Kahoots created before by the other people. You can see the list here. Uh, you can randomly select any of those Kahoots. I select selected this Kahoot. Kahoots are basically uh, quizzes. Uh, I selected one of them. There are thousands of them. In any topic, you can find thousands of quizzes. And you can select one of them and you can easily use it. These are publicly available Kahoots. If you like the uh, questions, if it's suitable for your context, you can easily use them. As you see, uh, there are multiple choice questions, multiple choice quizzes, quiz questions, and also true and false questions. If it doesn't contain, you can easily change those question types but uh, in the free option there are basically uh, two types of options multiple choice and true and false if you like this kahoot you can click play uh, as you see there are two options you can play this kahoot uh, for your virtual classroom and you can play a live game together with your students or you can assign this is for synchronous learning and the other one assign at the right hand side this is for asynchronous learning you can assign this Kahoot for your students and they can play anytime this is for live teaching I clicked on it you can select classic mode or team mode team mode is more complicated but i always prefer classic mode i click on the classic mode 
and then Kahoot produced a game pin. You should you should share this game pin with your students. Uh, I will sh show you now. I copied this pin, and then I will enter this pin here. Uh, this is your st uh, students page. They will enter this uh, pin and then click on it. Kahoot uh, asks your students to write a nickname or their real name. You can uh, tell your students uh, to write their real names if you want to use this as a part of your summative or formative assessment. You can request them to write their real names or if uh, their names uh, are not important for you, you, they can write their nickname. Uh, you can type anything and you can start to play this Kahoot. I wrote my name and that, that I'm in now. I started Kahoot here. And now, uh, as you see, I'm the only participant. My name appeared on this page. And now I'm in. Teacher click the start button and then the quiz starts. The first question and then you can see there are 25 questions. When I start this game, student will see the options and select any of those options. I randomly selected an option and you can see. I want to show you another option. It's creating your own Kahoot. Please click create. As you see, there are many options uh, like creating slides, quizzes, or puzzles or polls, and there are other options you can uh, explore the web page if you want to, to to learn more. I created, uh, I clicked to create a quiz. You can type your question, and you can write your answers as you see, and you can uh, increase your questions, and then you can create a question bank. And then you can play your own Kahoot at the end of this process. Once you create your own Kahoot, you can see your Kahoot on this option, My Kahoots. Click on it. And on this page, you can see your own Kahoots. I created that Kahoot before. I will click on it and I will show you how can we replay. I played this Kahoot twice before. These are my questions, as you see. These are multiple choice and true and false. There are two types of questions. If you want to play the same Kahoot once more, you will click play. And then uh, you see the same things, the same options, teach or assign for asynchronous, for synchronous and asynchronous learning. If you want to play it through a live game, and then I will click for this option. The next stage is basically the same. You can click the classic option. Kahoot will generate a game pin. You will copy this pin, share it with your students. They will enter this pin. And then you can start. That's it.